a weapon that we've seen do some of the most damage and objective is this plasma burst. It's made a comeback, and one of the first people I knew who was talking about it and made the plasma burst guide, Flying Llama, has broken down his X-wing loadout for me in this video. Hey, this is Time Bomb. If it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button and uh, check out all the videos. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. You can tell I'm I'm really good at, at doing YouTube by that that intro right there. Uh, <laughs> another reason I'm really good at YouTube is that I sit on videos for a really long time before I make them. Like this one right here, I did with my Llamo. I, I don't even know when. Probably like way back in December. We went and did this video. I don't know. It was, it, it was a bit ago. It took me forever to go through it and uh yeah i feel like lots of people have, have talked about the plasmas in different ways uh but he was one of the first people i saw do it he actually made the plasmas guide that i will link to below i mean it had some great information in it uh i remember talking to my team a little bit about it they weren't really into the plasmas at that time but uh <laughs> I, was, I was aware of the damn high damage output that it can do like uh it, it is the highest damage output in the game as his guide breaks down it's just that you have to be um, you have to have it overcharged, you have to hold it for two and a half seconds, and you have to be within 200 meters, so it also makes you vulnerable while you're charging it for those two and a half seconds, so you have to be very timely with it, so it's a difficult weapon to use, um, but in the objective game, that potential for output is so good. Burning Corvettes and Raiders, it's, it's so good. Uh, We've seen players now use it com in competitive stuff and, and talk about it a lot more. And I, you know, it's one of those things where I, I could have had this video out there. <laughs> Probably no one will. I don't know if anyone will watch it. My, my videos don't get that many views. People who watch them, people who know, they know. Thank you guys for checking out these videos. But this is another one. That I think it's some great information. I'm going to try to do some more of these talking to players about their loadout. So I'm going to break down this uh, Plasburst loadout X Wing for objective here and go over it with Flying Llama. So thanks a lot jump into a fighter and just see what you're thinking on what one would look like with the plasma burst two or four let's say for capital ship damage i think that's that's kind of uh more the place for it all right all right Let me well just... i've got good news for you what's that when it comes to that basically if you run plasma burst, you don't need anything else to do capital ship damage oh so you have all the flexibility in the world to basically do whatever you want you can go for, for example, what I prefer to do most of the time is, for example, on an X-Wing, mm -hmm. uh, which is my preferred ship these days. Uh, I'm running Plasburst with Ion Missile, so that I can just ion the people down uh, and get a very easy and clean shot on them. That's what I do basically to kill bombers. Mm. Because, uh, for example, Y wings can be very tough to deal with uh, if you got blast burst, and an ion missile clearly levels the field on that aspect. And after that, uh, well, I run boost extension because that's just that allows me to get going, to keep going um, as long as I want yeah. around uh, a flagship and a capture. Well, still playing hard to get because I'll be. Uh, I'm going to do evasive maneuvers while basically only facing my target for like half a second so that I can line up the shot and focus on staying evasive the rest of the time. That totally makes sense. So give me boost extension with an ion missile and then the burst to do the uh, damage. Wow. Okay. And and for the passive com components, I guess now. Yeah. Let's do them. Uh, usually, because once again of that uh, damage debuff that you receive when you're charging, uh, you will still get some damage in uh, on you, and it will be it will be very painful, very fast, very fast. So, what I'm running is uh, a fully reinforced build. Uh, once again, to stay on my objective as much as I can. So for that, I'm running reinforced hull. And depending on your taste in the matter, they're fortified, fortified deflector or ray shields. So, what do you think is the drawback to the to the, the the fortified over the ray? I would just thinking about it. I would probably go fortified. I think because the shields are higher. Well, the shield regen can be quite tough to deal with mm -hmm. on uh, when you're under fire, actually. Right, okay. uh, something that uh, is very good about ray shields is that as long as you don't get hit uh, by uh, uh, by missiles, 
it's even it's uh, akin to having uh, a twenty five percent buff on your on your shield. Oh, well, okay. not having uh, what? Well, not having uh, um, a shield regen debuff. Right. Okay. So okay. you you will be able to basically evade, go back to power on your shields, regen more shield health, more percentage of your shield, and that will be percentage that will be worth more than what you've got on the ring post. Cool. Okay. However, as soon as someone packs iron rockets. <laughs> it's another story. Yeah, so I'm first well, iron I'm rockets the first. Wait, do you have chaff? Do you, do you, sorry, you, do, would you use a chaff with it? Maybe you can block the ions with the chaff? Does that work? Yes, yes I do. Yeah, so maybe try that out. I mean, maybe, the, just the, and then you could maybe block it with those and maybe have enough time to charge <laughs> and then maybe yeah, fire it uh, at them, maybe. <laughs> an actual legit strategy is trying to just people uh, that run double rockets at close range, then dead stop, stopping. Just yeah, stopping I'm in stopping. the middle, popping your shaft, waiting for them to go to you, uh -huh. while their rockets will explode like uh -huh. 100 meters away from you, and then landing the blast burst. It's hard to do. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend doing that because yeah. it's very easily countered by people that just realize that you're doing that and just stop themselves so that they don't get in your dead range in your kill range sorry uh yeah that's true. if someone knows that you have the blast now. first then they can be aware of it yeah. and try to keep that distance that's what that makes sense and yeah. that's what's made this weapon very hard to use uh in dog fights in yeah. the world itself it's a fine weapon but when it comes to playing a superiority role uh in fleet battles well, let's say that if you land your first shot and it doesn't kill your target, the target will know that the Blast Burst user is there and they will run away. And because of that damage fallout that is absolutely huge, uh, Blast Burst is the worst weapon in the game when it comes to chasing someone. Mm. And unless you're running like first engine on an A-Wing or are very very good with your pinballing on your die defender, it will be extremely hard to get a kill on someone who's fleeing. Which engine do you like on it? Uh, well, it depends uh, It depends on the class of, uh, of uh, ship that I'm using. Yeah. Basically, I, I'm just I'm kind of thinking, of those, like, yeah, you kind of yeah. need like the maneuverability because you want to kind of like get in to make those shots, right? Like, you know, the drifting. Well, I'd say I, I agree with that. I agree with that. And on uh, interceptors, for example, I'm running microfrost for that very purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm running that also uh, sometimes on the tide defender too. But when it comes to engine, I'd say that uh, more than the weapon that you're using, it's better to choose your engine uh, accordingly to how you feel about your ship and how you feel about your power management. For example, on both the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter, what I'm using uh, isn't uh, the Microfrost engine, even though it's available there. I'm using the SLAM engine, so that mm. I can just be very efficient on my boost management and be sure that I will never run out of juice once again. It's the same reason why I'm running a boost extension. Yeah, makes sense. It's, it's yeah. maybe too much to run both, but that's my own personal feeling about the ship, and mm -hmm. that's what makes me more comfortable to use uh, a weapon and allows me to be more focused on using uh, this complex weapon instead of trying to micromanage everything. I like that, having the boost on uh, Republic especially, just because I can just kind of use the shunting almost like a boost extension, extension kit on uh, that's Empire. exactly that. Yeah, and, that's exactly that. And then, so having a boost extension on the X-wing, I mean, at the expense of an auxiliary, maybe. But I think on a build up like this, it kind of makes a lot of sense. Gives you that that flexibility. Let's see. Well, thank you so much again for coming on, man. We'll definitely a lot more conversations to have with you in the future. All right. Thanks you. Thank you for having me. So that's uh, pretty. That's everything there in the video. Thanks a lot for checking it out. I'm going to do more of these loadouts. Give this video a like. Hit that subscribe if you hadn't. I'm Time Bomb. You guys are awesome, and I will check you guys later. Boom, boom.